Welcome back. In the previous video, we created this Bitcoin disk service over here. And this is basically a regular Bitcoin node. It will download and it will validate a complete copy of the blockchain. But usually, we don't care about the entire blockchain. We are only care about very specific type of information. So let's imagine that we have a business owner and this business owner, he wants to accept bit Bitcoin then this person he should have a complete copy of the blockchain so that he can verify the blockchain by himself. But that also means that he now have a lot of information that he don't really care about. UTXOs and balances and addresses that are not his. So we need to find a way to extract the information that we care about out of the blockchain. So this is where our next service come into play. This is the NB Explorer over here. And the thing about NB Explorer, what it basically does, it allows me to track specific changes only to the information that I care about. So the Bitcoin D service, it will download a complete copy of the blockchain, will download and validate this copy of the blockchain. And the NB Explorer, it will basically extract the meaningful information out of this complete copy of the blockchain. So just as before, I'm going to declare my project, the NB Explorer, sorry, my service, the NB Explorer service. So NB Explorer. And I'm going to give it a container name, which will be similar. So NB Explorer. And I want to restart automatically. So restart always. And now for the image file, I'm going to get the image file from the creator um, Docker Hub. And his name is Nicolas Dorier. And I'm going to use NB Explorer version 2.0.0.51. There we go. Now I'm going to take a look at my diagram. And I can see that eventually the BTC Pay server will speak to this NB Explorer. And it will do so using port 32838. So I should expose this port. So expose 328. Three, eight. There we have it. Now moving on to the environment variables. And the first variable should be NB Explorer chains. What type of chains we are going to use. Pay attention, it should all be in capital letter. NB Explorer chains. And I'm going to copy this NB Explorer so I can just paste it later on. And the chain I'm going to use is of course BTC for Bitcoin. The second environment variable is the network type, which is just as before, the main network. We can also see it up in the Bitcoin D service. We also have something similar over there for the network, Bitcoin network, which is the main net. By the way, as I'm sure that you noticing right now, some of those variables will repeat themselves. So if you are more familiar with how Docker works and how environment uh, variables work, you can actually create a dot environment uh, file I'm going to create one right here. And within this file, I can declare all of the variables that will later repeat themselves. Instead of declaring main network at each and every uh, service in my stack, I can declare it as, let's say, Bitcoin network over here. And I'm going to set it to be mainnet. And now I can use this environment variable in my Docker Compose file. For example, let's say under Bitcoin network, instead of mainnet, I will just do look for the environment variable Bitcoin network. And I can also do the same thing for the NB Explorer over here at the bottom. So let's copy it. Let's go to the mainnet over here. And NB Explorer network, the same as the Bitcoin network. And now, of course, I can change it if I want, for example, to the uh, REC test, regional test network. And now whenever I change the uh, network type, it will immediately affect all of the places that rely on this information, which makes it much more easier for us to make changes to our project without having to worry all the time. Maybe we missed a place where we need to change from main network to rec test. But anyway, I'm going to change it back to the way it was before because I'm not here to talk about environment variables. And I'm going back to my uh, list over here. And the next variable that I'm going to declare should be NB Explorer signal file dir. The signal file dir 
I'm going to say to be the data deal. And this is where the NB Explorer will keep our signal file. If you're not familiar with the concept of signal file, this is basically a Linux type file that create events for the operating system. So yeah, that's the file. So yeah, that's basically what this file does. And we're going to keep it, as we just said earlier, under the slash data deal. Moving on. Now I want to bind my RPC port to any incoming IP address, as we did earlier. So I'm going to do NB Explorer bind 0000, and the port is 32838. This is, of course, the port that I have exposed. You can see it over here. And the 0000 basically means that it will accept any incoming uh, communication, regardless of the IP address. The next variable is the BTC RPC URL. Basically, our NB Explorer wants to know how it can communicate with our Bitcoin D uh, node, our Bitcoin D service, which we have declared over there. And we can see that the RPC port should be 8332. And it should be open on this Bitcoin D service. So back to our NB Explorer. We are going to tell it to talk to our um, Bitcoin D node using the HTTP protocol. So HTTP, Bitcoin D, and the port is 8332. This is how it will communicate with our Bitcoin D service. The final variable for this service is the BTC node endpoint. This is basically um, the NB Explorer needs to know how Bitcoin D, how the Bitcoin D service, the Bitcoin Core service is connected. And we are going to tell it to look for it under the Bitcoin D port 39388. So, oops, sorry. There we go. Bitcoin D 39388. Now I want to go back to my diagram and I want to see what type of data volume I should mount onto my uh, NB Explorer service. And I can see one thing which is quite interesting. I can see that the NB Explorer share a data volume with the Bitcoin D service. But the NB Explorer also talks to our Bitcoin node, to our Bitcoin D service, using this uh, RPC port, this 8332 port. So another challenge that you can take upon yourself to enhance your understanding on how BTC Pay Server works will be to try to figure out what type of information is shared between those two services using this shared volume and what type of information requires that those services will communicate with each other using the RPC port. Anyway, the first volume, as we just said, is the Bitcoin data volume and I'm going to mount it to root dot Bitcoin. And of course, you can see that this is exactly the same Bitcoin data uh, that is used in the Bitcoin D service. And the second volume, this is the NB Explorer data. And I'm going to mount it onto data deal. So NB Explorer data to data deal. Pay attention, data deal is the same folder that I'm going to use in order to store my signal file. And eventually this NB Explorer data folder, this NB Explorer data volume will also be shared with other processes and you might find it beneficial or interesting to find out what type of services will look in the signal file and what type of events or information they will try to extract out of it. Anyway, moving on, the final part of our NB Explorer service is of course to link it. And as we can see, it should be linked to the Bitcoin D service. And we can see it in our environment variables, we can see all the times in which we refer to this Bitcoin D service. And we want to actually put it in our code. So now we are going to link it to the Bitcoin D service. This is of course the service which we created in the previous tutorial, the one over here on the top. And yeah, this is our service. We want to make sure they are connected. Okay, so now that I completed my NB Explorer uh, service, I want to make sure that everything works properly. 
So let's do docker compose up. And I can see that, oh, it should be as a list under the volumes over here. So I'm just going to insert those lines over here and here. And let's check it again, docker compose up. And there we have it, yes. We can see both of the services, the NB Explorer and the Bitcoin D service are up and running, no errors, everything works just fine. And yeah, that's it. Anyway, we got two services up and running. We got the Bitcoin D, the Bitcoin node, which download and validate a complete copy of the blockchain. We got the NB Explorer, which help us to find the relevant information out of the blockchain, the information that is relevant to us as the merchant, as the store owners. And yeah, in the next video, we're going to do the BTC Pay server itself. So I see you then. Thank you for watching.